Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Atsimba, but you can call me Addy. I am a full-time macrame artist and a small business owner. This channel focuses on sharing a lot of macrame tutorials as well as a lot of behind the scenes as to what goes on in my small business. For those of you that don't know, I was able to quit my full-time job January of this year, 2021, to become a full-time macrame artist. I absolutely love what I do, and apart from macrame, I also really love sharing things that I've learned along the way. I plan on sharing a lot of like behind the scenes, like vlog style, day in the life. If that sounds like something that you're interested, go ahead and subscribe and please hit the notification button so you don't miss any videos. Today's video is gonna be sharing how I package up extra large wall hangings. And I'm really excited to share this because I get this question a lot on my Instagram. So I hope that me sharing this will just be useful to you guys. I have two wall hangings to package up today. This being the first one, this one will be going off to Hawaii. And then, I don't know if you remember, in my last video, my studio tour, I had a piece up on my coat rack that I was still working on. I finished that piece and it'll be the other one that we are packing up. I'm really excited to share this. Again, I get this question a ton on my Instagram, so I really hope that it helps you guys. Now let's just jump right into the video. So as you saw in the intro, today's video is going to be sharing how I package up these wall hangings. We are going to go ahead and get started, but I had to put my hair up because I know that it's going to get hot and I'm going to get sweaty. So I just put my hair up, but first, before we do this, we need caffeine. I'm going to make myself an iced matcha latte, so I thought I would just share that with you guys. So let's head over to my kitchen. Hello from my kitchen. So I currently have some water boiling right now. But I just wanted to share really quick everything that I put into my matcha latte. The milk that I use is this Califia almond, uh, coconut almond milk blend. And it is literally the greatest alternative milk I've ever had, honestly. I also like to put this CBD blend into it. So this is a balanced blend from Prospect Farms. So they did send this to me gifted, which I super appreciate. So this is their balanced blend and they have a couple of others to choose on their website. I picked this one because it's supposed to help you focus. So I feel like I personally get distracted a lot. So I just like to put it into my lattes and then just drink it before I start my work. And then I can feel a little bit more focused and caffeinated and just get ready to dive into work. So again, you can use code ADDY30 to try this Prospect Farm CBD for 30% off. Okay, and then I like to use this matcha, what is it called? Aya brand, I believe it's pronounced I'm not quite sure honestly I only really like use this brand because it's what's always available at Whole Foods and Sprouts I am willing to try other ones I just haven't really figured out like which ones I wanted to try but I do like this brand I have a really big sweet tooth so I like to use this agave in here because it is only five calories per serving and honestly you can taste like the sweetness so I really like to put this in here as well my water is almost done boiling and now I'm gonna show you how I put everything together good and I feel so much better after the first sip already so now that I have my matcha latte let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and get started now that I've had a little bit of caffeine and the first thing that I need to do is roll up this carpet and then clean the whole entire floor I always try extremely hard to get every single little speck of dust that would be in the area that I'm packaging so yeah the first step is to roll up the carpet and then I'm gonna sweep and mop and just clean around everything so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait a second, let that dry, drink the rest of our latte, and then I will get started on packing up the piece. To pack up a big wall hanging, I start off by laying down two sheets of brown paper that are essentially the same width and height of the wall piece. Next, I'll try my best to get it to lay perfectly flat. 
And then here you can see that I'm just running my fingers through the cord so there are no tangles and everything is nice and straight as possible. Then I'll take another sheet of recycled brown paper and then just lay it on top. Now I fold the sides in and then we just start rolling the piece up and you just want to make sure that everything is super, super tight. Of course I always include a handwritten note as a thank you to my client and then one of my stickers. So I get this 48 by 6 by 6 box from the UPS store and that's just really convenient for me personally. There is one across the street from my house so it's just the best place for me to get one whenever I need one for a big wall piece. Before I place the piece inside, I just put some brown paper so the piece is a little bit more protected. And since this piece was 34 inches long and the box was 48 inches long, I wanted to cut the box down so the piece wouldn't move around too much during shipping. Yay, okay, so this one is all ready to go. I've got the label on there. I put a ton of tape at the parts of the box that I cut off just to make sure that it's super sealed and secure. We're all done with this one, and now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the other piece. I just wanted to come on really quick so I could show you guys a close-up of the next wall hanging that I am packaging up. I am so proud of this one. I don't know if you guys watched my last video my macrame studio tour i had this up on my rack and i wasn't really sure how i was going to finish it like what direction i wanted to take it in but this is the finished piece and i'm so stoked about it all of the love and support and the comments and the messages on instagram when i shared it have been extremely supportive and i was slightly nervous because it was a little bit out of my comfort zone because i've never used beads before and sometimes I like to stick to a little bit more of like a minimalistic design, but my client wanted tons of details. So this is what I came up with and I'm really proud of it. I absolutely love how it looks. I love just the texture and the fluff with the beads and the tassels. And I just, every time I look at it, like I'm just so happy. Like I don't even want to get rid of it. I absolutely love, love, love creating something that, you know, you specifically wanted something totally unique for your home. So. I'm really stoked about this piece and I just want to show you a little close-up before I ship it out. I'm going to package up this one the exact same way as I did the other one, of course. The only difference with this piece is that I will include a comb with it. So that is super important because when my client receives this, you know, shipping is shipping. I can't control like how much it moves around during shipping. So of course the tassels are probably going to be like tossed around. But that's why this comb is super important for my client. Because when she gets it, she'll just be able to brush through everything. So super helpful tip if you are a maker who makes a lot of things with tassels. Include these for your clients because this just helps them keep everything looking really nice. You know, of course, with shipping, you can't control how much it gets tossed around. So for your clients to just have this handy, it would be super helpful for them. So I will link the ones that I use down below. So yeah, let me just show you a quick close up and then I'm going to package up this piece. video this one is all packaged up taped up and ready to go be dropped off um, I thought I had another one of these boxes in my car but I don't so I have to go to the UPS store to do the other one 
Um, and again, I'm gonna do it the exact same way, just um, like shove it in there and then put like packing paper in between both sides and then just cut the box down to size. I get this size box, it's a 48 by six by six and I get it from the UPS store. I get my water activated tape from Eco Enclose and then I get the brown craft paper that I use from um, Eco Enclose as well. I also get the stickers that I use. They were designed by Rebecca Illustrator and I get them printed from Sticker Mule. The thank you cards I designed myself. I'm gonna be redoing them soon, but I designed them myself and then I get them printed on Vistaprint. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you found it helpful. Please comment down below and let me know if this was useful to you or if there's anything that I used that you still have questions on and I will be happy to answer you. So again, I'm gonna go to the UPS store, probably get something to eat because I'm really hungry and then we're gonna get back to some more work for the afternoon and then hopefully get a workout because I'm dressed like ready to work out and I'm caffeinated, but I just have a couple of things that I need to do. So again, I will be sharing a ton more like behind the scenes like this or just like Q and A's or day-to-day -day life vlogs about my small business and a lot more macrame tutorials. So if that is something that interests you, please subscribe if you haven't already, like this video and comment down below what else you'd like to see in terms of either tutorials or small business tips. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one.